Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. But you can call me Fly. And we're back here on Minecraft as it's Minecraft Money. And this is episode 55 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. So before we get started with anything, if you guys would like to go ahead and check out episode 54, I'll have an info card above my head. You guys can go ahead and navigate over that check that one out we're going ahead and jumping back into the ocean monument build found a little clip where i was inspired to go ahead and get back into it so i've been working on it here and there i did not work on it honestly as much as i wanted to go ahead and work on it within the past week since the last episode unfortunately i do not have it drained out i don't have anything ready i have maybe drained out a little bit more but i kind of ran out of sand so i had to start kind of working on one section and then transferring that sand to the next section until i go ahead and build a little bit more sand up so I can go ahead and more efficiently go ahead and drain it out. I've been getting a little bit of work done today before this episode here, but uh, I went ahead and sat here at this grinder for probably the past like four hours because I made a little li teeny, teeny, tiny little mess up. Decided I was going to go ahead and get the netherite hoe going. So I've been sitting here getting some XP. I had a book that went ahead and had like 10 different enchantments on it, but it had efficiency four so i wanted to go ahead and use that efficiency four towards of course the netherite hoe so i can go ahead and have efficiency five and then unbreaking three and mending one however of course since i had like 10 different enchantments for the efficiency four whenever i combine that to the other efficiency four book that i ended up getting of course got efficiency five but still with those 10 enchants you guys could probably see where this is going already to sum it all up i went ahead tried to throw it on the diamond hoe to then go ahead and make it netherite it's too expensive. So I went ahead and came back here because that ran out all of my XP. Quite a bit of zombies going. I should have maybe like 42 levels by the time I go ahead and slaughter all these here. And fingers crossed that supplies us with enough XP to go ahead and hopefully get some more books going because I only need the efficiency five and of course the unbreaking. I already have a mending one from Ezekiel. So hopefully we can go ahead and get that. I have an efficiency two book already made up with the extra levels that I had. I got lucky enough to make that. So we just need a couple more more books to go ahead and combine and fingers crossed we can go ahead and finally have another right hoe i also have everything muted here so you guys haven't had to hear all these zombies here because it is noisy trust me but we have some things to discuss today i have some news that i've been finding out about minecraft some good news and also some bad news i'll just start it out with the bad news apparently why not minecraft is going to be getting an update soon that isn't the greatest update in my opinion we're going to be going ahead and getting an update where villagers are going to be heavily nerfed they're going to go ahead and change villagers in such a way that villagers are going to be biome based so if i want to go ahead and get say another ezekiel for example apparently i'm going to have to go to a biome a specific biome to go ahead and get said villager like ezekiel i guess that's how this is working and then on top of that villagers particularly like ezekiel are going to go ahead and get even more nerfed to where you're not going to be able to go ahead and get books easily right off the bat i guess i haven't fully looked into it i'm just kind of i just kind of grades the surface through the grapevine sort of knowledge that i have of this i haven't fully looked into it myself so don't take my word for really all of this but yeah do do your own research on what's happening with the villagers all i can say is that they're getting heavily nerfed and it's not going to look pretty. But so with the good news, here is the good news. I don't know really when this is going to be happening, but very soon we should be seeing shaders coming to bedrock now me personally i love this i'm really excited for this by the way here is the book i have all these enchants you guys can see my mending down there my unbreaking three my efficiency four and then all these other things but now me personally i really like this whole shaders thing coming to minecraft i've always loved shaders as long as it's good shaders main things about shaders that i like is just seeing sun kind of shine being able to see different shadowy points like i can see a shadow here from the sun and then i can see the sun kind of shine through this area i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but making everything look a little bit prettier whenever say you're walking through a forest or something like that and then on top of that i like things glowing for example these lights down here them having just their own glow coming from here from that specific lantern and then everything else looks kind of dark but still has the same regular lighting effect like it still keeps everything lit down here it just has a prettier lighting aura coming from it apparently there is sort of like a beta to the shaders right now i guess and you can kind of see how things are changing as we're going along okay that's beautiful i love that okay maybe i can go ahead and get another efficiency here what okay 
Well, I need another efficiency two then so I can combine it with the one I already have. Another part that I like, which I don't really see with most shaders, oddly enough, but I like glowing eyes. Like, say you look at an Enderman, you can kind of see the glowing aura coming from the purple eyes. I like that. And, oh, sweet. Oh my gosh, no way. Wow. But I like that. And then I like good looking water. The water, I like it to be a little bit brighter on the surface, like say maybe four or so blocks down that you can see very clearly, but it still kind of has this bluish tint to it. Say a little bit further in is whenever it starts to gradually get dark. I kind of like that sort of water. And I also like the water to look somewhat realistic in a certain way and also have like a sun glare coming off it. I kind of like that sort of shader's water. I'd say another thing, kind of sum it all up here. I like leaves that can kind of flow. I like the bushier leaves and then also have leaves kind of flow in the wind. I don't know if these are all actual shader things or these are just mixed up things but throughout seeing some java gameplay and whatnot of minecraft those are just the key things that i like whenever it comes to what i believe is all shader stuff can't believe i got that lucky with all this stuff though i'll get the mending book for now and then i just need it on breaking two and we're good to go that kind of scares me i really don't want this to end up turning around and being super expensive for some odd reason because i did this just fine before i combined the whole three books fingers crossed this works out in my favor i don't i don't know why that would be so expensive. Oh wow, there's already I'm breaking three down there. Okay, I might just go sit AFK and go ahead and get that then. Get up to 30 levels once again. Man, sitting here, I, I need to figure out what XP farms are efficient and what aren't. Because I've sat here for this period of time for trying to get enough XP for I'm breaking three and to make all these books combine and then to make the hoe. Probably for a good hour and 15 minutes ish but in total today i've probably let my character sit here for five and a half hours ish maybe six hours of the day on the bright side i did of course go back and combine the efficiency with the mending but i still need 30 levels to go ahead and get the unbreaking three book and then on top of that i'm gonna need however many levels to go ahead and combine all three books and then go ahead and combine that with the hoe so who knows probably like 50 levels by the time it's all said and done to be fair you know it probably wouldn't have been this long had i have not have goofed up and made a crazy expensive book with nine and chance or whatever it was but some other things i wanted to talk about throughout this video since i guess this video is just going to end up being probably about the netherite hoe. I wanted to go ahead and kind of work on the ocean monument a little bit more in this video, but I'll probably just kind of finish it off camera really quick and then we'll start the building at some point this week. I'll probably actually bring you guys another Minecraft episode this week instead of letting you guys wait a whole other week. But I wanted to go ahead and touch upon the fact that they just announced or kind of just hit us with a little teaser for Modern Warfare 3, which is going to be releasing November 10th, I guess. They hit us with a teaser, which it's quite interesting. It has phone number in it that you can go ahead and call. And to me, whenever I'm looking at all this stuff, I feel like it's a lot of zombies stuff that it's kind of teasing at. And I recommend watching Mr. Raffle Waffles. He he kind of broke it all down and I think he has some great things that he kind of figured out about that but I feel like everybody is kind of breaking it all down trying to figure out all the zombie stuff because MW3 is confirmed to go ahead and have something zombies related it's going from the whole green theme to red I guess and I don't know it just seems like a lot of zombie stuff that they're kind of hinting at I'm just really excited for MW3 here I'm excited for the zombie stuff MW2 I thought it was gonna hit home and just be super fun and I just it's just not a game kind of like Fortnite or something like that where I just openly freely just hop on it whenever I please and really go and enjoy it so I'm really hoping that MW3 is a different story really hoping that it has some good zombies content because that's the key point here that I'm looking forward to kind of bringing you guys content for zombie stuff I'm no I know I'm not some big zombies youtuber or anything like that but that's kind of where I have my most bit of fun whenever it comes to Call of Duty stuff I've always had fun with zombies content and whatnot so I'm really hoping that it's going to be some good zombie stuff for MW3 here this year I don't want to have to keep doing this because to tally it all up I've definitely sat here for upwards of almost seven hours total out of this day just chilling here AFK like I said can't forget I definitely did goof up so it's my fault that it's been so long I'll sit here for a little bit longer just because I really feel like 39 levels won't be good enough for this. But I don't want to sit here for too much longer. Because honestly, it is pretty late in the day. I 
can almost guarantee you guys I may not get this video out here for Minecraft Monday. But man, it is definitely a long time that I've been chilling here. What else can we chit chat about? What, what else do I got in the tank to go ahead and talk to you guys about while I'm chilling here? I've been playing a little bit more CSGO. I have indeed been playing some more CSGO if you guys were curious about that. Am I any better? Not at all, because I don't really play frequently. It's kind of like a a casual game that I hop in to, and the camera gave out. I thought it was about to just all crash while I was trying to record this, but it's more of like a casual game. I kind of just dabble in it here and there. It's not something that I've played frequently. And of course, all of my life, I really have never played a keyboard and mouse game. This is probably the first, maybe a little bit of Minecraft grown up, to be completely honest. I have dabbled in a little bit of keyboard and mouse Minecraft grown up, but nothing too crazy to be thoroughly experienced with the keyboard and mouse gaming experience. I'm more of just controller. That's it. It's just a terrible experience that that just completely tilts me. I'm not I'm not even lying to you guys. That's the whole reason that I play a whole couple of matches and then I just have to just stop. I just stop playing. All right, I managed to sit here for another 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and finally take all these guys out. See who we can go ahead and get to. I just want at least level 45 and I think I'll be okay. I'd say after how much I've sat here with these guys, I might just do my research a little bit and figure out what the most efficient farm is here in Minecraft. And then that'll probably be one of the newer projects here coming up. Maybe I'll even work on a guardian farm or something with that other ocean monument that's close to the one that we're draining out. All right, here we go. Finally, we finally have the efficiency five 38. Okay, let's switch them. Still 38. I just sat here and did all that just to find out that it's still expensive. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. That is now twice I've wasted a mending book. We had all that luck to go ahead and get the efficiency five that I got there and it's gone to waste. I don't understand that. I really don't. And that kind of bums me out. I just sat there for hours now because I've messed up now twice. So it's going to be even more hours. I just don't get it. I had those three enchants on a netherite hoe. No problem. Before I went ahead and had that whole glitch into the nether scenario and lost it. And then now it's sitting here telling me that it is way too expensive to throw that stuff onto both of these hoes. Not even able to just simply throw it on the damaged hoe. It's too expensive on a brand new one as well like that just baffles me i don't get that maybe i could get away with getting one of the enchants on the hoe already but i don't remember doing that the first time around i just threw the enchants on like we already have here a book very similar to this maybe the order of the enchants was a little different but i remember it being exactly like this and throwing it right on no problem probably call it quits here for this episode and i'm just gonna sit there chill in afk and then work on the ocean monument build a little bit and then hopefully I'm aiming for tomorrow. Well, technically, while you guys are probably seeing this, it's today because this is probably going to go up on Tuesday morning. I'll probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, have everything drained out and done up for Tuesday here. So you guys will technically hopefully be getting two episodes in one. But either way, we're going to go ahead, get this netherite hoe, and then maybe today, technically, Tuesday, or sometime, sometime this week, you guys can count on a Minecraft episode before next Minecraft Monday. But I'm going to probably go ahead and call it quits here because it is already really late. I want to go ahead and try to get this out to you guys here for Minecraft Monday. Sadly, no another right hoe yet, but by next episode, we will have one. Even though I don't even necessarily need one and I don't necessarily need it to have efficiency five, I just, I'd like it to and I'd like to have another right hoe just so I don't have to worry about it again while worrying about all this sponge and draining it out and everything else, etc, etc. Once again, if you guys want to go ahead and check out episode 54, we went ahead and began getting back into this. I kind of discussed with you guys, explained to you guys why I wanted to go ahead and get back into this build. Definitely go ahead and check that one out. I'll have a link down in the description below. You guys can go ahead and check it out. That's it for this one, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. And with that, peace out, Monarch Militia. And as always, spread love, radiate positivity and try to smile. See you.